He's with me. And uh, I needed a date anyway. No. If he's your date, what does that mean? You don't want me to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna end so well. <laughs> you know what? You gotta relax and enjoy the moment. Fortunately, I'm on hand to uh, give you instruction. Welcome, everyone. And congratulations to our non-married couple. You guys did yourself proud, right here. Come on, come on up, guys. Woo! Yes. Hey, guys. Picture time. Oh, oh, yay. Cheers. Hey, you know what? I got something I forgot. I got to take care of. He's gonna be happy to see you. Um, so I assume you got a car from the airport, okay? I mean, I didn't have my phone on me. I'm the maid of honor, so it would be really rude to listen to phone calls. Under special circumstances, it's perfectly acceptable for a sub to make my travel arrangements. Now, where is the bride? Excuse me, everyone, attention. So now is the time in the evening where the best man and the maid of honor toast the non-bride and the non-group. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see you first. Hey. Okay. I'll go first. Um, ooh, Maxie and Spinelli are my closest friends, <laughs> which is weird considering how Maxie and I started out. Um, <laughs> I didn't trust their relationship, but I am the first to admit that I was wrong. Maxie's love for Spinelli is every bit as strong as Spinelli's love for her, and I think they proved that by not getting married tonight, so thank you for showing us what love is, so cheers to Maxie and Spinelli. Customary for the best man to volunteer a verbal contribution. Just say something nice. Come on. Even tough guys gotta talk sometime. You're great at public speaking. Go up there and say something. I'm really enjoying this. Looks like the man with no fear has stage fright. <laughs> it's okay, Jason. Just take your time. Oh. I know I'm not Jason Morgan, but I'm named after him, and that should count for something. <laughs> this is very cool. Not only because it's what Maxie and Spinelli deserve, it's also my first time in a real bar. Whoa! <laughs> and your last. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone knows Spinelli's like the smartest guy ever. Yeah. And there's no one like him, and he proved that today by not marrying Maxie. <laughs> and Maxie proved how awesome she is by going through with the whole thing, even though she didn't want to. <laughs> oh. Just here's to them for working it all out. And here's to everyone saying what they really want instead of messing up their whole lives and lying and covering it all up. Hey! <laughs> This is Hot Couture Confection Perfection. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. This fabulous cake is a gift from my fabulous boss, a fashion icon, and a woman of impeccable taste, Kate Howard. Mm. Well, I, I did order it before I knew where the reception would be held. Not that there's anything wrong with <clears throat> Jake's bar, 
All pastries are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Including your fine taste of so. Oh, here, I'll oh, get it. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> that you weren't looking for me. <laughs> yeah, you got something in your eye. It's, um, I have new makeup on and it's just... Yeah, let me, let me get it out for you. It's, it's not, um, it's not even really bothering me anymore, actually. I mean, I'm happy for Maxie and Spinelli. <laughs> it's interesting, right? I mean, someone really close to you falls in love, and, and no matter how great a couple they are, you still feel like the one who's left out. Yeah, well, Maxie is, without a doubt, the most vain, the most selfish, the most messed up person that I know, and somehow she still manages to find the real thing. <laughs> Maybe she's not as messed up as you think she is. Well, I love Maxie like a sister, so that's why I can be a bitch about it. <laughs> I'm sure she feels the same way about you. I mean, I'm not interested in Spinelli for anything other than a wonderful friend. I just... I just wonder if I'll ever have what they have. Nothing. You'll have what you have. I mean, I can't speak from experience, having never been in love myself, but I have it on good authority that uh, love lasts until you're old and gray, and it shows up when you least expect it.